What's up everyone, Tablade here with an information video regarding this week's limited bounties and event quests in Monster Hunter World. This is for the week starting the 5th of April 2019 and is for both PC and console versions of the game. However, unlike last week, PC and console have different sets of limited bounties. So first we'll talk about the console version and then later the PC. So what have console players got in terms of limited bounties this week? Well they have four of them, first is an ecology survey to hunt down bird wyverns. You have to hunt down three of them and it can be at high or low rank. Bird wyverns include Puke Puke, Sisi Yaku and Kuru Yaku. Anyway, if you take three of them down you'll get research points and some armor spheres. Next is an ecology survey to hunt Paolumu. You have to hunt four of these flying wyverns and once again it can be at high or low rank. And for doing so you get research points, some armor sphere plus and a first wyvarian print. Next is another ecology survey, Tempered Monster Hunt. We have to hunt down five Tempered Monsters, but they can be any threat level. And for doing so, you get research points, some hard atmospheres, and a silver wyvarian print. And then finally is the general limited bounty to complete all of this week's other limited bounties. And for doing so, you'll get research points, a gold wyvarian print that can be used at the Elder Melder in exchange for certain monster gems, and a golden egg that can be sold for Zenny. So there we have it, those are the limited bounties on console. Not too hard unless you haven't got to the end game yet. But what about event quests? Well first is Yakuwida, a 4 star low rank quest that requires hunters to be hunter rank 6 or higher. This has players taking on a Kuru Yaku and Zitsu Yaku in the special arena. Unfortunately there's no special loot from this quest, although it's a nice way to complete this week's limited bounty to kill bird wyverns. Next is Greeting the Gluttons, again a 4 star low rank quest that requires hunters to be hunter rank 6 or higher. This has players taking on a Puke Puke, Great Jagras and Paolumu in the special arena. And upon completion of this quest, you'll be rewarded with meal vouchers that can be spent in the canteen. This is in fact one of the quests that I farm quite a lot. It is also useful in this week's limited bounties as it contains a bird wyvern and Paolumu. So doing this quest is a quick way of getting the limited bounties done. Next is the Coral Waltz, a 7 star high rank quest that requires hunters to be hunter rank 13 or higher. This has players taking on all the monsters associated with the Coral Highlands. So that's Zitsuyaku, Paolumu, Pink Raffian and Legiana. Now for taking this quest on you'll get an increased chance of getting a small or large gold crown for the monsters involved. Next is Rolling with Urugan, a 7 star high rank quest that requires hunters to be hunter rank 13 or higher. This has players taking on 2 Urugan in the Elder's Recess and upon completion of this quest you'll be rewarded with various armor spheres. And then finally is the Eye of the Storm, a 9 star high rank quest that requires hunters to be hunter rank 50 or higher. This has players taking on an arch tempered Kushala Daora in the Elder's Recess and upon completion of this quest you'll get Kushala tickets that can be used to craft the Kushala Gamma armor set as well as the Guild Cross layered armor set. So there we have it those are the activities on console a nice little bunch although nothing too special and for me i'm going to be spending most of the week farming greeting the gluttons unfortunately there's no news on when arch tempered Nergigante is coming out but as i suspect it will be after this rotation of arch tempered monsters as next week we have arch tempered lunostra the week after that arch tempered zora magdoros after that will probably be arch tempered xenojiva and then maybe we might get arch tempered Nergigante. but we'll have to wait and see anyway now on to pc First, the limited bounties. We have four of them. First is an ecology survey to hunt flying wyverns. We have to hunt three of them and it can be at high or low rank. And for doing so, you get research points, some armor sphere plus and a first wyvarian print. Next is an ecology survey to hunt a doggeron. We have to hunt down four of these fanged wyverns and it can be at high or low rank. And for doing so, you get research points, some armor sphere plus and a still wyvarian print. Next is an ecology survey to slay elder dragons. We have to slay five of them, but they have to be at high rank. So no taking on the low rank. Kieran for quick Elder Dragon kills. Anyway, for taking five of them on, you'll get research points, some hard atmospheres, and a silver Wyvarian print. And then finally, it's the general limited bounty to complete all of this week's other limited bounties. And for doing so, you get research points, a gold Wyvarian print that can be exchanged for monster gems at the Onomelda, and a golden egg that can be sold for Zenny. So there we have it, those are the limited bounties on PC, but what about event quests? Well first is the Poison Posse, a 5 star low rank quest that requires hunters to be hunter rank 8 or higher. This has players taking on all the monsters associated with the poison element, so that's Puke Puke, Raffian and Raphalos. Now there's nothing special for completing this quest, although it's a way to farm materials from these monsters. Next is the Triple Threat Throwdown, a 6 star high rank quest that requires hunters to be hunter rank 13 or higher. This has players taking on a Great Jagras, Great Gyros and Dodogama in the special arena. And upon completion of this quest, you'll be rewarded with quite a few decorations, although these are normally the lower rank decorations. Next is Rolling with the Uragun, a 7 star high rank quest that requires hunters to be hunter rank 13 or higher. This has players taken on 2 Uragun in the Elder's Recess, and upon completion, you'll be rewarded with various armor spheres. 
Next is the Effluvial Opera. This is a 7 star Harrant quest that requires hunters to be hunter rank 13 or higher. This has players taking on all the monsters associated with the Rotten Veil. Vale. So that's Great Gyros, Radaban, Adogaron and Basil Juice. And for taking this quest on there's an increased chance of getting these monsters at the small or large gold crown size. This is also a good quest to consider taking on if you want to complete some of the limited bounties more quickly. Next is Relish the Moment, a 9 star Hyrant quest that requires hunters to be hunter rank 50 or higher. This has players taking on a Tempered Devil Joe in the Elder's Recess and upon completion of this quest you'll get some sullied or shining stream stones. Anyway, next is the Undying Alpenglow, which is a 9 star Hyrant quest that requires hunters to be hunter rank 50 or higher. This has players taking on an Arch Tempered Zora Magdaros in the Everstream and upon completion of this quest You'll get Zora Magdros tickets that can be used to craft the Zora Gamma armor set as well as the Origin layered armor set. Now the Arch Tempered Zora Magdros is staying a week longer than normal. This is due to a bug that occurred with this quest when it first came out. And then finally and new to PC is Like a Moth to the Flame, a 9 star hiring quest that requires hunters to be hunter rank 50 or higher. This has players taking on an Arch Tempered Xeno Jiva in the Confluence of Fates. Now for taking this tough monster down you'll receive Xenogiva tickets that can be used to craft the Xenogiva Gamma Armor set as well as the Commission Layered Armor set. Some of the Xenogiva Gamma Armor pieces are well worth it so I would recommend taking this quest on if you have the time. So those are the activities we have on PC. Now before I go there are a few bits of information and news for PC players out there. First of all Arch Tempered Kulturov is making her way to PC. It's going to be arriving on the 19th of April which will mean PC players have a chance to get the powerful Shah weaponry from her. Also on PC from May the 3rd the Assassin's Creed collaboration event will be making its way to PC as well in the form of the event quest SDF Silent Deadly Fierce. This will give players a chance to get the Assassin's Hood Mantle which is a specialised tool as well as the Bayek Layered Armour. So there's lots to look forward to on PC. But anyway, what are your thoughts on this week's activities? Leave a comment down below and until next time, I've been Darkblade, bringing you an information video regarding this week's limited bounties and event quests in Monster Hunter World. Hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, subscribe and like for more.